All right, guys, welcome to Coach's Corner, our little segment. This is the reason why we do our stream, because I love helping people. You know, I, I love it. That's why I stream uh, to make a difference, to, to see you guys succeed. And this week's topic on Coach's Corner is really how to find the perfect yield. It's really uh, a topic that I'm going to separate into four different segments uh four different weeks because it's just way too long i could talk all friggin day about guilds and then you know how to find a guild and how to apply to guild and then you know how to sell yourself to that guild and then how to interview for the guild and then how to have that trial so those will be the four different sections um this first one will be dedicated to finding that perfect guild you got to find it before you apply to it uh that's what we'll be doing tonight uh next week will be applying to the guilds third week will be interviewing for guilds and the fourth week will be you know dealing with your trial you know your trial as a raider uh so one thing at a time here uh so i mean with guilds uh, again you know i've been in this guild for ooh, i don't know how long when did we form here i, I know i'm just dead on top of my head here january 27 2005 um so we've been a guild for quite a long time nearly 10 years uh, so I don't have that luxury. I, I guess you call it luxury. It's not a luxury. It's a. It sucks to be looking for guilds. Um, and nobody, nobody likes looking for guilds. I, I, does anybody like looking for guilds? I'm, I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Um, it's similar to you know looking for a job. It sucks to be looking for a job. You know when I moved to Vancouver, same kind of thing. Like I, you despise looking for jobs. It sucks. It's discouraging. Um, you apply, you don't hear back. You know you interview, you don't hear back. It's not a right fit. Whatever. Same thing with guilds, though, and, you know, yeah, you can make the argument, you know, why so serious? Why do you, why does a guild even matter? A guild can make or break um, how much fun you have in, in Warcraft, right? Like, it's friends. You're potentially, you know, looking for more friends or applying to a guild, applying to be a friend, um, but you're also looking for that group to play the game with, you know? Uh, Warcraft is a massively multiplayer online game. It's, I mean, you can play it solo, fine. You can do pet battles, you can do, you know, solo PvP, LFRs, you know, s random dungeons, deal with your 40-minute DPS queues and all that other stuff, but is it going to be fun? Like, you probably want to pull your hair out at some point, you know, dealing with those random LFR people or dungeons or those elitist people, it, it sucks, right? But being in a guild... There are so many advantages to being part of a guild or being part of a community. There was a video a little while ago that was post that we posted on Facebook on our you know on our Sparty Smallwood Facebook page um, regarding you know being part of a community. The guy that made Imager, um, you know, you're at a huge advantage being at part of a community as opposed to somebody that is not. Um, so I mean, find that right guild. I mean, it's a pretty daunting task, but with a little bit of preparation beforehand you can make that work so much easier. So to start off here, uh, to start off, what kind of guild do you want? You know, what kind of, what are your goals in Warcraft? You know, do you want to raid? Do you want to do PvP? Well, there's PvP-oriented guilds, there's PvE-oriented guilds, there's leveling guilds, there's, there's a guild for everybody. I, like, I, I guarantee every single one, every person that's watching this stream, the highlight, whatever, there is the perfect dream guild for you out there somewhere. You just have to find it with a little bit of luck, a little bit of prep, You'll, you'll get in there, and then you'll be happy. You'll stick around play Warcraft, you know, for years to come. Uh, same thing with Death Jesters here. You know, I try to really make this as your last raiding guild. Not because, like, everybody quits after they join the guild, but uh, it's their home. This is a community here. I want people, you know, it's not just a raiding guild. You know, we're friends, we're family, we care about each other. We do stuff outside of just raiding or doing dungeons. You know, we do beta and StarCraft and Diablo. We hang out at each other's barbecues. Like, you're part of the community. You have to be part of that great guild. And if you re read some of our earlier blogs, you know, what does it make, you know, what makes a good community or what makes a good guild? Um, you can go through our blog a little bit earlier and find one of those. So right, this was the front page. That's fantastic, yeah. Exactly. I mean, we people go to each other's... I've gone to guild members' weddings, and, you know, I, I've seen their kids grow up. I've seen them have babies. And I've seen them move on over years. Like, it's awesome. It is fan friggin tastic So, uh, finding that guild, you know, decide, do you want a PvE guild, PvP guild? Well, you guys know this stream is a little bit more PvE-oriented. Um, so let's say you want a PvE guild. Okay, you want a raid, because raiding is the best thing in Warcraft, and it is. Don't argue with me. Um, I mean, raiders, 
how hardcore of a raider do you want to be? Do you want to be a mythic raider, or do you just want to do hard, you know, heroic raiding? Do you want to do normal raiding, which is totally fine too? And this is, you know, towards a drain or, or even right now, do you want to be a flex raider and just, you know, see the content at a, a decent level? Do you want to do normals or heroics? Well, which will now translate to mythic and, um, you know, normals and heroics. Okay, what do you want to do? Uh, are you okay putting in the time and effort that is mythic raiding? You know. Um, another thing you want to look at, well, how many days do you want to raid? Do you want to raid five days a week? I mean, that's a lot of raiding. Um, not a lot of guilds these days are still raiding five days a week. You know, we used to, as that gesture is nine years ago, we would do seven days a week sort of raiding, but raiding would consist of, you know, doing Upper Black Rock Spire and Molten Core and Onyxia. You know, you log in at 10 a.m., have your cereal, go do Onyxia, you know, learn. Uh, does being a, a five-day raiding guild necessarily mean you'll have better progress, uh, better raiding time, a more efficient raiding time than a three-day guild? Not necessarily. You know, there are plenty of guilds that raid only three days a week uh, compared to a guild that is, so, you know, raids only four days a week, and they make much more progress. So decide how many days a week do you want to raid? Well, what days do you want to raid as well, right? Like, is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Uh, do you want to raid on the weekends because, you know, you're... You come home, you're, I don't know, you guys are 30, you got kids, you deal with those kids all week, you know, you deal with work, you come on Friday for Sparty Scotch Hour, and then maybe Saturday, Sunday are your days to raid. You're, you know, you're very casual days, you want to raid two days a week. There's a guild like that for everybody, every single damn person. Um, you know, what kind of loot system do you want to use? Some guilds use a loot council. We use a loot council we have for, you know, forever. Um, some guilds like to use DKP or EPGP or Suicide Kings or just roll or just talk about stuff uh, or just, you know, round robin. You know, there's all kinds of loot systems. Is that important to you? Maybe. You know, think about those things. Uh, and lastly, do you want a server transfer? Do you want, are you willing to faction transfer? Yes, you know, you are the glorious alliance race. You are a human or a dwarf or a night elf. Maybe you came from a spaceship and you're a Draenei or, you know, you're one of the lesser races and you're a gnome. You're still part of the alliance. You know. um, are you willing to faction transfer to those mud hut dwelling orcs? Is that something you're willing to do for a better guild? Maybe, maybe not. Um, so, I mean, there's lots of different avenues for for finding a guild. So we're gonna hearth over here in a second. Gnome tanks for the win. Uh, we're gonna hearth over. I mean, and I'll show you guys maybe trade chat. Um, Let me hearth over to a city. Whoa, guy, whoa. Rate all the days. Some people like to do that. Some people play uh, multiple days. I know some of my guildies, they will raid, you know, three, four days with me. Then they'll raid, you know, two, three days with another guild. And that's totally fine, too. That is absolutely okay. You want to raid 24-7 when no guild wants to do that? Yeah, I think, Azeeb, you're on your own there for 24-7 for raiding guild. Excuse me. So we're gonna join trade chat. And, like I, I never go to trade chat, you know, for oh God, for, why are you doing that? for a number of different reasons. Uh, Stormreach is a very highly populated realm. There is always something going on, and hopefully, I'll have some spam here of you know guilds that are recruiting for their guilds. Uh, trade chat. I mean, trade chat people are selling stuff. You know, they're buying stuff, whatever. Um, right, that's already started. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so here we go. Trade chat people are recruiting. Fantastic. Be I mean, if you can sort of filter through the anal jokes and, like, did somebody say Thunder Fury? No. I said Corrupted Ashbringer. That's what I said. Which of you have that? None of you. That's right. Um, so, trade chat is, I mean, it can be a bit of a cesspool, but it can be a good resource if you can filter through all the, the idiocy in, in, uh, in it. So I'll show you guys uh, trade chat here in a second if you can sort of see this. Um, there, there, are, people are looking, uh, 25 men that's looking for a group here, or looking for people, uh, people are looking for more for their Siege of Orgrimmar runs, um, you know, some, there's a mage looking for a hoax scenario, people are selling flexes, uh, there is another guild up here, let me link this again, there's a guild called Touch My Totem, looking for a, is a brand new casual guild, looking for members to join, please send tell, that's one resource. Um, trade chat, I mean, has a certain connotation with having, like, the really casual guilds, um, not necessarily bad guilds, a lot of you guys, not a lot of you, but some of you guys have had good success with finding a guild through trade chat, and, you know, potentially a raiding guild, you know, a raiding guild that raids casually a couple days a week, whatever. 
personally, I've never used Trade Chat uh, to to sell anything at all, just because the maturity is not there typically. Uh, here, here's another one, Catman Tree. So A plus is looking for skilled and dedicated players to join our roster for mythic raiding, specifically for a mage warrior Rouge. And all other are welcome to apply. Raid nights Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 10.30 to 1 a.m. Eastern. Contact me for more details. I mean, there you go. That's a very typical trade chat um, post. But again, yeah, touch my totem. Another great example is, you know, Cobra Kai Dojo is recruiting for all classes for our guild. We're a fun ninja guild that has plans to raid in the future. Must hate Mr. Miyagi. Uh, we have full access to food, repairs, gems. And, of course, the your app phase consists of sweeping the leg. If you can't do that, don't join Cobra Kai Dojo. Um, I mean, these guys, I mean, they'll not always be raiding guilds. They may raid, they may not. It's sort of hit or miss with Trade Chat, but it is one, you know, basic resource. Resource number two here, and I'll show you guys the second resource I'm going to show you guys. Resource number two is your Realm Forums. Realm Forums, um, they're pretty good. You know, years and years ago, back in my day, Realm Forums were typically just a major source of drama. That was it. It was people like, this guy's a ninja looter, this guild sucks, Sparty's a fascist dictator, he will not let me join his guild, he makes me apply to guilds, oh dear, like it's rough, rough, rough stuff. So, here, here are the Stormrage uh, realm forms, for example. Uh, there is a number of guilds, here is Will of the Titans, an alliance guild, is now recruiting. There are Stur Stormrage guild recruiting for core positions, uh, you know, what they're looking for. You're on Stormrage. Hey, maybe you want to go to this server, or maybe you want to go to join this guild. You know, here are the raid times. I talked last week about you know guild templates and setting something up like this. Um, maybe these guys took my advice and watched my stream uh, about creating those templates. Um, you know, maybe if you're new to World of Warcraft, you're returning the player or re-rolling. This guild might be for you. They're doing a bit of raiding here. Um, again, you know, their times, who to contact. It's a pretty decent post. But again, that's what your realm forums are for. Most of realm forums are now just recruitments you know people are selling stuff um what else people selling challenge modes carries flex carries normal carries whatever uh profession kits is another great example people selling challenge modes whatever realm forums are another great resource for for you guys and to look around through your realm forums i like this guild i've heard good things maybe i'll talk to them and i'll start using my realm forms for, for finding a guild again you know great first resource this way you don't have to faction transfer. well you may have to faction transfer if you have a decently balanced server but you don't have to server transfer it saves you a lot of money and, and money you know time is also money but money is important for you guys some people can't afford to faction transfer or server transfer which is why they're on you know a high pop realm or a really solid realm that's right miranda back in my day uh, so, one other thing here. So let's now look at uh, your recruitment forum. So recruitment forums is another really great one. Um, and for those of you that don't know, you know, your realm forums are where they are. I'll sort of give you a link here. These are your realm forums, and this has, you know, all the realms. If you're not sure what, well, I mean, you guys know what realm you are, but again, Dentarg, or I mean, whatever servers you guys have here. Uh, look, I'm looking for more raiders. I can click any of these realms right now let me think of a random one here uh i live in calicos maybe calicos i think is a medium low pop realm uh, best server ever i think about transferring people are recruiting for rpgs uh people selling runs you know more guilds looking for people realm forms great first resource for finding a guild uh resource number two is your i mean is the official recruitment forums on uh world of warcraft so these right here and here's a link to it as well are your official recruitment forms right there now there this flies by really quick there is thousands thousands of pages here uh, people are constantly bumping their posts here is a 571 mage for example looking for a 13 out of 14 guild or at least he's 13 out of 14 looking for a guild you know a little bit of information about him his name is hoobs 571 13 out of 14 mage um, and now people start you know hey start courting him right like hey come to our guild you know we're better than the other guys you know we're looking for a mage for sure um, you know, a lot of guilds here, like here's Tyranny, uh, Death Jester is probably somewhere in the back there, I haven't bumped my post in a while, but there's all kinds of guilds here looking for people. Uh, this is a 14 out of 14 prop paladin or monk looking for a guild, uh, this guy's a tank, good luck, you know, finding a guild if you're a tank, it, it sucks, because there's so few tank spots. Again, your main recruitment forums are fantastic, they're a good resource, just, you gotta go through it, you know, you go through the pages, okay, uh, I'm a paladin, do I see any 
people looking for a paladin. I mean, it's a bit of work, right? It's quite a bit. Digital addiction, they're a weekend guild. It's a lot of work going through guild after guild after guild. Go through next page while, you know, the, the pages start flying already, so you're repeating yourself a number of times. Uh, going through, you know, US 20, looking for mythic. You know, it's, it's a lot of work going through the guild recruitment forms, but pretty effective. Uh, and I'll show you guys a little bit more of an effective tool that you guys can do to find a guild or to have guilds court you. So, uh, let me see here. The next one, um, I mean, one of the, the best ways... Well, I, let me get set back here. Um, why the recruitment forms are so good, and Trade Chat is flying now, it's my screen. Um, think of the guild recruitment forms as, you know, you're looking for, I don't know, you're e-dating or something. You are e-dating for a guild or, a, you know, a pretty girl. If you put your search parameters to, like, I only want pretty girls that live within one kilometer of me. Well, good luck. I mean, that's your, your server. You know, the one kilometer w with your where you live. But if you are looking for, you know, on the guild recruitment forms, the official ones, it's like opening possibilities to all of North America. I don't care where you live, you know, that person will... I don't know, fly down, and meet you, or whatever. Be careful. But it, I mean, it, op it opens up a lot more possibilities if you're using the guild recruitment forums. Um, you know, sometimes you can say, hey, I'm only looking for people that are on this server, but you might have more luck uh, using your realm forms if you're not looking to server transfer. Now, guys, one of the best tools out there, and I've sort of, I showed you guys last week on how to use Wild Progress, is Wild Progress. Um, so, I'm going to load up Wild Progress for you. This is Wild Progress. This is a guild progress tracking website. Uh, I'm sure it'll be updated in the future for um, for Wards of Draenor. Let's take a message here. It's from a fresh 90 on Stormers looking to do raiding in, a, in Wards of Draenor. Mains 8 out of 14 on another server in Horde. How do I go about finding a guild to raid the next expansion pack? So, Hessian, um, can you link me your army? I'll use you as an example here. So Dokazil, Dokazil is one of our rogues right now. Uh, he says he found DJs via guild recruitment forums. Yeah, I mean, again, it's fairly effective. You can find some really good raiders through guild recruitment forums or realm forums or whatever. Um, or, I mean, maybe Dokazil posted, I can't remember how we found Dokazil, but maybe he posted his own little template on his, um, you know, on the guild recruitment forums. We posted on his thread, you know, say, hey, we're, DJs are awesome, come to us, come to apply to us, whatever. So, yeah, how to find the right death for you. Exactly, Escard, exactly that. So, I mean, I'll show you guys a couple little examples. So, Hesse, if you don't mind looking at your armory, I will help you find a guild. I'll show you exactly how to find a guild. And I'll make a couple little um, random search features. No, thank you. I, I don't need your money. Hopefully, uh, Hessian responds here. Hessian 96. So, I'm going to guess Hessian, he's on Stormrage, right? But he's on the U.S. So, if you're on the U.S. realms, here's how to use it. So first of all, you would go under guilds here, go down to US. This is only going to show you US guilds, because again, you can't raid from US to EU, or you know, vice versa. So because Hessian is um, a US writer, he's on Stormrage, let's click US. This now shows me all US guilds. Can you use mine? Link me yours then. Mumers, link me yours. Somebody link me an army that is looking for a guild. And I'll help you guys out here. I'll show you exactly how to use this tool. I'm not going to find a guild for you, but I'll give you those first steps to finding that guild. Um, and we're going to talk about, you know, posting your templates and doing all that work as well. So, no progress. All right. Okay. Musers, let me see. His name is Meowy. All right, fantastic. You are a... Uh, 14 out of 14. Okay, that's not bad. Let me look at Inverted War. Kubali. Oh, Kubali, I think it might be a little bit easier. What is Kubali? Oh, fantastic. Kubali, you're my perfect example here. Perfect. Uh, so, this is Kubali's armory. He is a 571, 576 warrior. Uh, Fury warrior, looks like, or protection warrior. Looks like Fury warrior that doesn't have stuff enchanted still. I'm guessing you're a Fury warrior. Right? Maybe? Potentially? Uh, so, if he's a Fury Warrior, he's on, what, Doomhammer right now. But he's willing to, you know, serve a Trevor. So, Kubali, let's say he's looking for a 25-man guild. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for 25-mans right here. So now this shows me all 25-man guilds. 
Uh, what we're going to do next is, what faction Cubala do you want to be? Well, he's Glorious Alliance. He's a little Gnome Warrior. Fury Warrior. Fury's your off spec. Okay, we're going to say Fury's your main spec for now, but again, you can use it both ways. So he's going to look for a 25-man guild only alliance because he doesn't want to, you know, deal with Orgrimmar and Mud Huts and Straw Huts and, like, a bunch of dumb rock-eating orcs. He wants to be alliance because alliance have a higher IQ. So he wants to be alliance. So he'll choose alliance right here. Well, Cubal, how many days a week do you want to raid? Typical raid day. Raid week is around three to four days. Let's choose three. You want to raid three days a week? Fantastic. What language? Well, people are going to be English speaking, typically on US, unless you're going to need some of the Oceanic servers. Um, English is the main staple here. Uh, and what is he? Well, obviously we know he's a warrior. Well, what kind of warrior? So let's go for a warrior. And what kind of warrior? He's going to be a DPS warrior, right? Direct damage or DPS. D that's what DD means, direct damage. We're going to click go. Fantastic. So. These are all the Alliance guilds that raid three days a week that speak English looking for a DPS warrior and are 25-man guilds. Your work is so much... I mean, you have so much less work now. Okay. Uh, but what was your progress again? Well, your progress was... Here. He's killed one... Two, Malacroc. So he's killed seven... Yeah, seven. Uh, seven out of 14... No, nine. Sorry. Nine out of 14 heroic. I can't count. He's killed 9 out of 14 heroic. Well, what kind of guild should you apply to? If your guild's fallen apart, if you are the best member in your guild, whatever, shoot for the stars, guys. Uh, an example here, Dead Man, our, one of our, I mean, our DK tank, he applied to our guild 1 out of 14 heroic. We were 13 out of 14 when he applied. Uh, he's now, I mean, he proved himself, he sold himself while he was a good tank, he knew his stuff, he knew his class inside and out, um, he knew, you know, the encounters, he was willing to put in the work, we give him a shot, and now he's a full member of Death Jesters. So always shoot higher. Unless you're, you know, there's a couple exceptions where you may go a little bit lower on progression. Uh, another example is Bran Hista. You guys know her as one of our raid leads, one of our healers. I mean, she's fantastic. She actually went down in progression to join Death Jesters. Uh, when she joined us in Tier 14, uh, she had already killed Imperial Vizier Zorlock, whereas we were progressing on him. So she went back a step, but she found a home forever. So again, he's 9 out of 14. So let's look for, you know, guilds that are at least, you know, 10 out of 14. Maybe 12 out of 14. 11 out of 14. Let's look for a guild here called Haven on Proudmoor. Okay. So this is Haven on Proudmoor. Now they're looking for all classes, so maybe not specifically warriors. Um, but here, there's one option for you, Cubaldi. 25 man heroic guild on Proudmoor, guilds at strong PvE focus, but provides friendly social environment outside of our scheduled raid times. Good. I mean, that sounds pretty good because that's what you're looking for, right? That's social community in your guild. Uh, extensive experience, great, great, great. All aspects of the game. Uh, here are their raid times, fantastic. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Cubali, you know what, though? Because you're an awesome Canadian, you play hockey on Tuesdays. You can't raid which means you'll be missing all of their Tuesdays because you play the greatest sport on earth, hockey. So let's go find a different guild for you. Let's look for a guild, maybe... Let's look for a different one. Uh, Core. Core on Stormrage. Uh, so on Stormrage, again, they're recruiting all classes. Uh, Core is semi hardcore 25 man, made up of laid-back adult players. Well, that's fantastic. You're 29. You have, you know, some pretty good maturity. You work all week, and, you know, maybe you want to play, look for a weekend guild. So again, you know more about this guild. If you like what you hear about these guys, this isn't Paris Island. What? We're not here to scream, berate, or whip people. What the hell is Paris Island? Maybe is that like a, a boot camp? I don't know. Um, our goal is continuous progression, allowing a fun environment. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. Um, you know, they don't want to compromise. I mean, it sounds pretty decent here. Um, they fooled around with RBGs. If you're a PvP type person, let us know. We're looking for a former RBG group. That's great, because you like PvP too, Cubali. That's great. Uh, and they rate Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which means awesome. You get to play hockey on Tuesdays. Doesn't conflict with that. You know, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, you're free to do whatever you want. Spend time with your family. There you go. Uh, again, it's a late night group here, so it's fantastic. And look, they, they end up 11 on Sundays, which means you can wake up early for work. 
there. There's another example of a guild that is recruiting all classes, not warriors specifically. Let's take a step back here. Maybe Antimeridium. They're on Stormrage as well. Uh, they're a fantastic guild. They have multiple raid teams here. Here, they're looking for warriors. They have a medium need for a warrior specifically. Uh, they're different raid teams. They have an AMP, uh, AM team and a PM team. Um... You know, low need, high need, whatever. It shows you. So they have low warrior DPS or low need for warrior DPS there. Um, I think there's another one that needed a high warrior. Maybe low overall. Let's look for another guild, another Storm Rage guild. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Now, let's say you want to. I mean, you don't want to serve a transfer for Cubali. Uh, Cubali is on Doomhammer, as we saw here earlier. So let's go to our Doomhammer. We're going to go under Realms, under US here. And we're going to look for Doomhammer. Where is Doomhammer? Doomhammer, under D. Doomhammer is right here. There. Okay, that, that it's a fairly low pop realm. Um, not a ton of opportunities. There's a lot of 10 men guilds. There's, you know, one heroic 25 men guild that's working on stuff. Let's do the same stuff here. So we're only going to look for guilds on Doomhammer now because he can't afford to server transfer. Again, alliance, uh, raids, I don't know. Who cares how many days a week they want to raid? Uh, you're very flexible. Uh, you'll raid, you know, two to four days. Let's just leave it blank right now. Speaks English. Let's looking for a warrior that is DPS. Uh, and 10 or 25 men, you don't care. You just want to raid. Go. So now you've left a little bit open-ended. Um, here are all the Alliance guilds that are raiding. So Steel Legion's looking for a warrior. Let's look at Steel Legion. Again, this is a normal guild, though. Uh, so you'd be going a few steps down. Let's look at Heroic guilds here. Uh, Eternity. Eternity is a, you know... A, what guild are you in? Shooting the Breeze. Oh, you're here. So your guild's 12 out of 14. Um, you're one of the more progressed guilds on the server, so you really need to be going down, right? Unless Shooting the Breeze fell apart, uh, you'd be... Looking at a guild like Relic, maybe on Doomhammer, and they're, they are—I mean—they have need for a warrior, not specified how need, how um, how much need. Again, runs Tuesday through Thursday and Mondays, so they raid what four days a week, um, seven to ten. You know, so they raid twelve hours a day. They're twenty-one plus guild. Oh, that sucks. Because Cubali, you said you were twenty-eight, right? But you lied. You're only eighteen. So like, maybe they won't let you in the guild. Um, that's for a different topic, guys. Those eighteen plus guilds, people put that kind of stuff. Um, you know. For different reasons, I don't stuff. Exactly. So what Esgard here says in stream chat is a uh, great advice. If you're on a low pop server or a medium pop server, look for ten man guilds like these guys right here that are looking to expand to twenty men. Okay, so don't go all the way down to you know Steel Legion because they haven't you know killed Garage yet. Look for another you know. And this is not another great example. Um, your realm isn't that well populated. There's not many that opportunities to improve, to succeed. You know, you're looking for a guild in Somalia right now when you should be looking for a guild in, you know, in First World Europe or North America or something. Uh, but, you know, it, I mean, this is this realm isn't the worst realm. It's one of the lower realms. And by lower realms, I mean, in terms of population here, and here's a sort, sorting on population... Uh, let's look for Doom Hammer. So your guild, I mean your realm, is somewhere down here um, in terms of population. So not that high. The best realms in terms of active communities, uh, not having queues, are roughly around here. You know these ones right around here are fantastic because you'll have a community, you'll have uh, stuff going on. Marty Huskers, thanks for subbing, much appreciated, and welcome to the subbing army. Thanks a ton. Uh, you're at 21 guild. It's even highlighted. Well, I'm just saying, right? Just saying. Um, yeah, and I mean, if you're not sure if your guild, can, your computer can handle 10 or 25 men's, you know, it's or, sorry, 25 men's. Um, try the PTR. You know, try LFRs with all your settings up. It's it's a little bit more taxing on your computer for sure. So again, I mean, these realms right around here. Uh, oops, not, not all those. These ones right here typically are the higher pop ones. If you have between you know, 10,000, 20,000 people, I mean, it's not perfect numbers, but it gives you a rough understanding of how many people are on that realm. And again, it shows you PvE realms, PvP realms. Uh, you know, there maybe it's an Oceanic realm. This is a Brazilian realm. <laughs> Good luck. Um, Oceanic realm here. You know, another Oceanic one here. Maybe you want a Horde guild, right? But there's not a lot of Horde players on your server. A great example of that is Storm Rage. 
Stormrage is the most populated realm in the world, really. But the downside of having a really high pop realm like Stormrage is that, I mean, you're going to have queues. It's going to take you a long time to log in, right? Uh, I mean, there's a ton of heroic guilds. Only alliance, though. There's not a single heroic, or, I mean, a, a single horde guild, I think, uh, at all, unless you're like opponent horde. Yeah. So, let's say he's looking for a, you know, he wants to go to a high pop server. There's so many opportunities. Trade chat's active. There's always pugs and flex raids and something going on. Same thing here. Let's look for a, you know, any kind of guild. An alliance guild going to raid three days a week. Uh, English speaking, looking for a warrior. DPS warrior, go. Again, these are 25-man guilds here, looking for a DPS warrior. Oh, there's death gestures. And these are 10-man guilds looking for heroic. You know, you're a 9 out of 14. Look for a guild that is higher than yours. Definitely higher. So, what do you suggest when looking for a guild but only have 10-man experience? Who cares if you only have 10-man experience? Met some of uh, some guilds that seem to look at ten men as less experience. Not necessarily. Um, you know, there's an argument to be made for you know twenty five men's are harder on some encounters, ten men's are harder on other encounters. I joke around really often that ten men's are you know for care bears and they're so easy, whatever. Ten men's are can maybe they're just as difficult as twenty five men's, but different encounters. Like there's reasons why they're you know they're easier or harder. Logistically, ten men guilds are a lot easier to run. Twenty five men guilds are more difficult, uh, but there's pros and cons of both. If a guild is not willing to take you because you only have 10 men experience, that's just silly. That's just silly. Maybe they're not worth your time. Um, you know, I, if you're applying to Death Jesters, I don't care if you're 10 or 25 men. If you have the progression, you know, you'll have a bit of a um, bit of an adjustment period going to a 25 man compared to a you know to a 10 man to 10 man because there's you know so much more shit going on or so many more people or whatever. Maybe your computer can't handle it and you're still running a 486 with the turbo button and it takes you know 10 minutes to log on. You know, there's different things. Uh, feel free to look at your over. Okay, let's look at the simiums here. Senessa. So Senessa, same thing here. Now, here's another example uh, with Senessa. Senessa is a, a bit of a different, um, bit of a different situation. Now, Senessa is a bit of a heroic raider. Senessa has done a couple heroics here with our stream. Now, with Senessa, he has this title right here: Death's Demise. Death's Demise is a realm first title, so this is for the people that are, you know, hey, I used to be an awesome raider, you know, top 50 US a couple years ago, I took a break from the game because, you know, I had kids, I got married, got a job, you know, I got sick, whatever reason you've had. Uh, Senessa's one of those guys. I, I don't know what happened to Senessa. Now, he's got Death's Demise, which is a really difficult and really prestigious uh, raiding title uh, for doing Ulduar Yog Zero. This title means a couple things. Either he's a great player, um, and you know he got this when it was—I mean, he got it when it was current. Did Yog Zero on a high pop realm, or he's an average player and did it on a low pop, you know, crappy server. That's what it means. One of two things. He's currently—I um, mean, he doesn't have a lot of experience, but he's got this title. You have this title right here, which is great. It can mean a lot. Um, if a guild is not willing to ex accept you just because of logs or gear, that guild is not worth your time. If you sell yourself, you know, just prove in your application that you're a fantastic player and you did all this heroic experience. Like, if you came to me, you know, as a top 20 former player and, you know, you remember wiping to Lich King 300 times or Ragnos however many hundred times or Yogg Zero and knew how difficult that was and now you're coming after a break, okay, you know, are you caught up with all mechanics? Uh, do you know the changes with your classes? How have you prepped for World of Drain or that kind of stuff? Um, it's more of those, have you caught up with stuff? I don't give a shit if you're, you know, if you're coming back from, you know, you were did Risen or Vodka um, or Nilum years ago when content was a little bit different or when Vanilla, when content was, was much different, much simpler mechanics, and now you're coming back? Okay, fine. But have you caught up to all the mechanics, uh, to the changes of the class, changes of the game? If not, then you're in for a steep, steep learning curve. Uh, what else? Okay. So, oops. So he's in a different situation. He would look for, you know, same thing, rogue. Um, people that are looking for a rogue. Let's say he wants to raid 25 men because, you know, he's that old hardcore raider with, death, with Death's Demise. Let's look for... Uh, let's, why don't we look for a different guild for him? Let's look for a US again. Or maybe we'll look for EU. Let's pretend Senesa's on EU. Um, 
let's look for a 25 man guild, sorry, on EU here. Yeah, 25 man guilds. Uh, he wants to be Horde because, you know, that's what he was. Hordes have better PvE racials. Uh, he wants to raid, mm, I don't know, four days a week. Let's say more. I mean, he's a hardcore raider. Uh, he doesn't care what language they speak. He doesn't care if they speak fucking, excuse me, uh, English, German, French, whatever. They could be a Polish guild. As long as they raid four days a week and they progress, he'll try to understand the best he can. He's looking for a rogue here. Let's look. All right. So these are all the guilds on EU that are looking for a rogue, potentially. Uh, again, he's only done 2 out of 14 heroic, but a good guild will look past his progress, look past his gear. You could have great logs, like, you know, Warcraft logs uh, show you your uptimes, you know, dealing with mechanics, uh, that you know your shit. If you have decent logs at a low item level, uh, people will still look at you, you know, just really sell yourself as, you know, an old hardcore player that's coming back to the game that, you know, knows your stuff, and a guild will give you the chance. It's super easy to gear anybody up right now. You know, Siege of Rokumar is nearly completing. The last couple months have been easy to gear people up. Test apps on content. So, same thing with Senesa. Um, you know, he can sell himself to a good guild that understands that he's a good raider. You know, maybe PTR or Beta is a good, you know, way to do that. Um, you know, let's look for a guild that is, I don't know, I mean, he wants to shoot for the stars. He used to be in a top 20 US guild, let's say, for example. Uh, these guilds are, you know, are pretty solid right here. These top ones. Let's look for Voodoo people on Ragnaros EU. They're looking for all classes. Again, not a lot of information here. Maybe visit their website. I don't know if there's like dick pictures on here, so I'm not going to click it. They're a Hungarian guild. Okay, well, there you go. Um, let's look for here. WHF. Again, they're 81 on the west, which is pretty decent. Uh, 25 men, great. They're looking for rogues as well. They're look, what, they speak German, uh, reading four days a week. Sinessa, you read German, right? That's awesome. Um, but this tells you, you know, their raid times right here. Uh, what? Tuesday to Thursday and Sunday. There you go. Who to talk to? Uh, maybe let's look for a different guild. Northwind. Maybe they speak English. Nope. Also, more German guilds. Again, you know, that's more German guilds. So why don't we go switch to English? Let's look for English speaking guilds. Fantastic. Here we go. English speaking guilds. Uh, Surge. A surge on Twilight's Hammer. Uh, looking for all classes, you know, these are the raid times, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday, Monday, loot system is a loot council, uh, why they're awesome, there you go, you know, this is again, a good tool for you guys to use, no, he doesn't speak it, uh, a good tool for you guys to use to find that guild, it's going to re reduce the amount of time you're searching for a guild exponentially, all guilds use WoW progress, whether your guild actively uses it, I mean, it doesn't matter. Your guild will be here on WoW Progress. If you've killed heroic bosses, your guild will be tracked, whether you like it or not. But it's up to your officers, you know, like I mentioned last week, to uh, to update your WoW Progress page with which classes you're recruiting. Okay, uh, so that is WoW Progress in a nutshell. Okay, use it. It's effective. It's awesome. You can look for, you know, same realm guilds, different realm guilds, whatever you need here. Do it. I mean, right, Jess? Do it. You got to keep that stuff updated once a month, though, because if you don't update it once a month, then uh, it says you're no longer recruiting. It does also remind you. It sends me an email. Hey, you haven't updated WoW Progress in a month. You're no longer recruiting. So I need to make sure I just refresh it or, you know, change something in it. For people that don't have much experience, could you look at mine? Sir Necrodias. Yes. I'll look at yours one more before I move on. So again, this is Necrolock. Uh, Necrolock is... Okay, he's a normal raider right now. Uh, if you're a normal raider, you're probably you're ready for heroics. Is he ready for a 14 out of 14 heroic guild? Probably not. Also, you're missing a belt buckle right now. Never lock. Um, you know, like I'll look at this stuff later on when I cover applying to guilds next week. But again, you're starting for heroics. Uh, let's say you're looking for a guild on Stormrage. Okay, let's look for Stormrage again. We'll look for Stormrage. Where is it? Stormrage right here. So you can't afford transfer, for example. You don't care 10 or 25 men guild. Let's look for guilds that raid, you know, mm, one to two days a week, speaking English. Looking for a warlock. Go. There you go. These are the guilds that raid one to two, two nights a week uh, that are looking for a warlock. Again, you know, the top two night guild on Stormrage is Metro. Um, 25 men's anyway. 10 men's is Refiner's Fire. There's Exiles of Lordaeron. There's a bunch of guilds that do it. 
let's look. Let's say you're looking for uh, maybe talk nerdy to me there on Stormrage. Uh, they're looking for a warlock here or a casual 10-man guild. They do Fridays and Saturdays. They're a late-night guild, though, so they're midnight until 4 a.m. Eastern, uh, which is pretty late, unless you live on the West Coast. Uh, we also have a second 10-man group here, Wednesday, Sundays at the same times, a minimum 555 item level with cloak, 1440 experience, minimum to progress with heroics. Uh, you're a little bit lower because you don't have your cloak yet, you know, you're still working on stuff. Will they take you? Maybe, maybe not. You know, it's worth a shot for sure. If you're easily offended or uptight, this is not for you. There is adult humor, and we try to keep light after speed during unbots. So they're, they're, I guess, a bit of a, um, a raunchy group. Uh, at least they tell you up front. You know, they're they're a bit of a raunchy group, and they might, you know, say the baby jokes, or, you know, these kind of jokes, or women jokes, or whatever. Uh, yeah, sure, Meowie, no problem. Uh, when I'm done streaming, no problem. I'll stick around afterwards, obviously. Um, so looking for a guild that is maybe, you know, starting heroics, maybe Exiles of Lord are on here. Looking for all classes, you have an eight-year history, they've been around for a while too. But again, that's how you would look for a guild, I mean, with one, two days a week, three days a week, Necrolock. But look for a guild that's, you know, a few heroics into it. Unless you're really, really ready to jump into a more heroic guild. Um, but I'll tell you right now, you're not. You're not ready, uh, just because of, you know, personal preparation and that kind of stuff, which we'll cover next week when we say applying to guilds. Okay, um, so, let's move on. Let's move on to uh, f selling yourself to that guild, you know, why are you guys awesome? Now, uh, we covered a while, progress, fantastic. Now, if you're an excellent player with a lot of experience, uh, maybe like Senessa or like the Meow guy or Q the Cue Ball, um, these guilds, they should be courting you. If you're a high demand player and you're a great DPS, you've got great logs, for example, uh, even if you don't have great logs, like if you're an awesome player and you've got experience, sell yourself. You know, there's lots of recruitment places out there. You know, there's Facebook. Uh, there's a Facebook group as well. You guys can check Facebook, guild recruitment stuff. I get constant posts there on my Facebook. Um, but make a template for yourself. Now, sell yourself to the guild of your, your choice and show them why you're the player they want. Like, yeah, all these guilds, you know, you could apply to, but more opportunities, more chance finding that guild. I think that's how we found Dokuzil. Dokuzil, you know, made a template of himself, and then we, like, this. I want this rogue. Do it. Um, so, under, again, under your guild recruitment stuff, so we'll go under guild recruitment forums, and these are the official guild recruitment forums, which is my post here. Here. Um, here, here's an example. Here is a 580 arcane mage looking for a guild. You know, this is inf his information right here. He's a, you know, he likes to clear Siege of Mark Marker Rogue before 6.0. Uh, that's a bit of a reach. So, you know, he's, he's an okay player. You know, sell yourself as to why you are awesome, your progression. This isn't a great example of a template, you know, of why I'm awesome, uh, come recruit me. I'll give you guys a couple examples of decent ones. Here is Hoobs again, the one that I mentioned earlier. Uh, he's a 571 mage looking for a guild. He has this much experience on his main, and he's got, you know, on this much on his mage. He's currently Horde, like to stay Horde, which is great. Um, Available most rate times except 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So he's got pretty flexible, uh, you know, times. I'll give you guys a couple examples of good and bad templates. Now, here is an example of a really bad, I mean, not a great template. Um, I mean, no, sorry, this is a very basic one. A very basic template. This is Luvi, but he's doing it on his Warlock. Um, so he's got his experience here, he did Throne of Thunder, US 80, Siege of Bogomari, US 64, so he's cleared all heroic content at a pretty decent pace. He's looking for an Alliance Guild, he's willing to transfer, that's great. Any times between 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., sorry, 8 p.m. to 1 a.m., uh, 5 to 10 p.m. Pacific, okay, great. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, please contact me uh, here, which is great, and I'll get back to you if needed. Well, that's fantastic, so, you know, my guild, for example, Death Jesters, I hope somebody has posted on his guy's thread. Uh, looking around, looking around. Oh, look, Sparty has actually posted me. I've actually posted on his thread seven hours ago. Because <laughs> I'm looking for a warlock, right? So I've actually gone through these, um, you know, these different little pages. And this guy said he's a warlock. He's got experience. He's around my experience level. Maybe he's looking to jump up at, you know, 20 ranks or something. Uh, he raids my times, which is a great fit, you know, the right days, and hopefully he'll get in contact with us. That's an example. This is a very basic, basic post. 
a very basic template uh, about him. It doesn't tell me about his personality or his humor or you know what he does for a living. Uh, that's stuff that we cover in an application later on. Now, uh, a bad example uh, of a, a bad, I mean, I guess recruitment ads. Here's a really bad one. No offense to uh, Rage here. Hello, I'm looking for a guild for 6.0. I'm going to Warlords. I am only looking for a guild on the Alliance side. I'm 14 out of 14 Heroic. My battle tag is this. Thank you. That's it. Um, I mean, he doesn't really say what days he's looking to raid, how many days a week, um, what progression, that kind of stuff. I mean, I, I can sort of look here. I can click on Rage and see how many kills he has. He's got 12 kills on Heroic Rush. That's not bad. That's you know pretty decent. Uh, 5 7 Warrior. Then I'd have to go through his logs and I have to see, you know, is he actually doing any DPS? Has he been carried? Is he one of like, the weakest player in his guild? Why does guild fall up? Part, there's no information right there. Um, and now I've got two examples of pretty decent recruitment ads. And these are what you guys should be posting on the guild recruitment forums again to sell yourselves to awesome guilds. Uh, here's a pretty decent one. This is a 587 Frost DK looking for a late night raiding guild. Uh, so he tells you, you know, looking for a raid guild that raids between 9.30 Pacific and later, uh, no exceptions on any given day. Can raid seven days a week during Mythic Progression Awards Rainer. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, he's still had a Fortin experience. Uh, he's been playing a Frost or playing since BC, which means you know he's probably pretty bit a hardcore raider. He used to play a Warlock, uh, then he's then he switched from a Warlock. What? That doesn't make any sense. So why would you give up a Warlock? They're just crazy strong. Uh, I guess the guild needed melee DPS. That's fine. Uh, he looks looking for a guild that has stability and camaraderie, and of course having fun while raiding. That's great. Uh, he's a reliable person on any time. Has 90, makes ninety percent of the raids. This is key. You know. Being a reliable person, reliable player, a loyal player, that'll get you far in life. Fantastic. Look, he's got his armor here for us, which, I mean, I can click on. But he also listed his Warcraft log. So, I mean, as a recruitment officer, when I look around, um, I can pull up his logs. Here's his Immersius kill. Uh, there's this little Frost Decay dude. Uh, if I look at different bosses like... Um, Iron Juggernaut, which is a great example of DPS. I can see how he's doing compared to my own DK. So he pulled 391. If I pulled up my own logs here, um, I could see you know how he does compared to my guys, and then decide to potentially recruit him as well. I'm not looking for DK, so I wouldn't post on this guy unless he was really, really awesome. Um, Diesel makes a good post here. So many GMs, that recruiting officers that reply to posts just copy and paste the recruitment post into the response. A good way to stand out is to actually respond with something that hasn't been copy pasted a ton of times. Um, very fair point. Uh, some people, they say, let's say Valdrax is here. He says, okay, if you actually read my post, please give me your favorite color. So then Sparty would write, your, my favorite color is, you know, polka dot, and here's my template. So, like, I've read over your entire post, and that's what I do. Like, I just don't... I don't just copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. I read the entire thing, which again is a huge time investment for guild officers, guild uh, recruitment people. Uh, but yeah, like I go through all of it and I don't sort of waste my time. Like this guy right here, I wouldn't post on his thread at all because it'd be a waste of my time, it would be a waste of his time, and he only can raid, you know, 900 Pacific onwards. So we raid much earlier than that. So why would I want to waste his time? Uh, like I told you guys last, for those of you that are officers, it's a numbers game. The more people you paste on, the better chances of applying. This one, I'm just wasting his time. I'm insulting him by posting on his thread when there is zero chance he'll ever raid. You know, he'll remember me potentially as that guy that posted on his thread that didn't bother reading. What color is polka dot? It's a Polish color. So shit your face, so shit your face. It's a Polish color. Uh, so, there you go. You know, that's your templates. Another great example of a decent template here uh, is here. This is another fantastic one. This is a 585 Shadow Priest looking for a guild. Again, I'm using more Heroic Raider examples for you guys, but it doesn't matter if you're 585, 567, um, 550, whatever. You know, make a post. So he's here's what he's looking for, which is great. A guild that is at least 11 out of 14. Does that include my guild? Yes, it does. If you're 9 out of 14, is it still worth applying? It or uh, Posting your thing here? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, guilds may still try to recruit you if you're a little bit... I mean, if they're a little bit lower than you are. But you'll they'll sell themselves as to why they're awesome. So he's looking for a 2-3 to three day uh, rating week. 
uh, between seven to ten, so, sorry, seven p.m. to one a.m. Pacific, which is a little bit off my time. A mature mindset guild that knows how to have fun. Great, a guild of good means of communication. Mumble over vent. A guild that raid includes repairs. Yep, a well-established guild with good history. This is actually again key. A home for Rose's Reino. This sounds like a pretty good guy. Um, he's killed twelve out of fourteen. Was the last kill being Garage Twenty Five? That doesn't make much sense. He's killed twelve out of fourteen. But he's killed Heroic Ross. So what has he skipped? Let's look at his armory here. Maybe he just like... He skipped Siegecraft from Paragon. So he's killed Garrosh once. Um, How did he skip them? Well, he didn't kill him with his guild. Maybe they sat him because they didn't like Shadow Priest on Paragons or Siegecrafter for some reason. That doesn't reason. make any sense. Well, you know, whatever happens. Um, so he comes from 40-25 men experience. He was an officer of a top 20 US guild in Wrath. Yeah, which is, you know, decent. Uh, proud officer, recruiting officer, and raid leader in my last guild. You know, maybe his last guild fell apart. Whatever happened. There's his battle tag. This is a pretty decent recruitment post. Again, leave your contact info. This is key, guys. If you are posting your recruitment template for yourselves, leave your battle tag. This is important. People will, you know, will either paste spam here, like everybody's copy pasting, copy pasting, copy pasting. And then it's up to you guys once you, you know, you're throwing some food in the water. These fish are biting. Then you start reeling them in. You know, see which fish you like the most. Um, you know, you just have. To, it's a lot of reading for you guys, right? It's a ton of reading, but you may get some really decent guilds out of it, uh, like a Dokus Elgados or whatever. What is my blog link? Right there. Deathyesters.net slash Ashbringer. Um, so again, you know. It's a lot of reading for you guys, but thank you for the post so far. So he's actually, you know, read everything. Um, there you go. That's another good template for you guys. Create one. If you're not sure what you should put on one, look at other ones. Look at my blog. All of these ones that I've linked for you guys are linked there in that blog. If you if you ever want an example of um, a, like a template to use, just use it. Abuse it. You know, post your information. Like, copy, paste, you know, this and replace it with information about yourselves. Use somebody else's template. Who cares? doesn't matter. Uh, good. So, I mean, those are your templates. Now, when you guys are doing this thing, um, you know, your goal is to have many options available. Your goal is to have, you know, five guilds fighting for you. Or for you to potentially, you know, apply to a lot of guilds, then five guilds want you. Then you have a choice. You have decisions to make of, you know, what guild do I want to go into? Which guild is right for me? Which guild is my perfect home? That's what we're looking for, right? That's our goal, especially with this coach's corner. Um, so again, post a good template, you know, put in the effort, spell check, capitalize stuff, use punctuation, put in the effort, you know, like, it's like posting a resume online or whatever, you know, system you use, whether it be Indeed or job stuff, I, I don't know, whatever you guys use for applying to jobs. Uh, now, once you've got your choices down, I'm going to sort of minimize this stuff. Once you've got your choices down for guilds and numerous options are available, you can start narrowing them down. Uh, don't settle for an average guild. I mean, sometimes you may have to start off somewhere, like you guys are trying to get into raiding. You gotta start off somewhere, right? You gotta start off, like I always tell you guys, you wanna get into this mythic raiding guild. That is the NHL, the National Hockey League, for those of you that don't follow hockey. Uh, but you have to work your way up. You start off with, you know, Timbits hockey, you work, you know, you through AA and, you, you know, the Bantam leagues or whatever. Eventually, you know, you play uh, in the OHL or CHL or ECHL or whatever. Eventually, you get drafted, but you work your way up slowly. You don't apply from, like, being six years old to the NHL. You die if you, you do that. But you do have to work your way up. I don't want you guys to settle on whatever guild. You need to find the guild that is right for you. But let's say you've got all these teams, you know, looking for you. Let's say you've now, um, you've been, you've been drafted, right? Or, um, I guess how... How do the Americans do it? Uh, you Americans have, let's say you're a f high school football player and many colleges or universities are courting you to come to their university and play football for them. Very similar mindset here. You have to find the right university or college or guild that is you know, perfect for you, uh, whether it be schooling wise or whatever, whichever guild has the most hot girls. I mean, that could be a fact with you, sure. Sure, Luba. Um, so if you don't have a current rating experience, what qualities should you highlight about yourself? Dedication, loyalty, attendance, you know, willingness to work, you know, you know your stuff, beta experience, whatever you can, sell yourself on it. Um, you know, decide how important, I mean, here's a couple of things that you guys may want to consider. How important is the raid environment? What kind of raid environment do you want? 
some guilds run, I mean, most guilds run a top-down leadership. So you have the guild leader, officers, veterans, members, apps, like that, in a sort of top-down thing. And that works, works for a majority of guilds. Some guilds have no GM, they have a council of elders or whatever, and that works for them too. What kind of structure do you want? You know, is one going to work for you? Um, I mean, both can work totally. Um, do you care about the guild's values and integrity is another good point. Well, does it matter to you that the guild you're applying to, like they, you know, they meet your raid times, um, they have great progress, they have the right loot system, all that stuff, but they treat every person like garbage. They're condescending assholes and elitists. They, they kill bosses just fine and they're awesome and they're fun to be with and, you know, maturity wise, they're okay. But they treat everybody else like shit. Like, hey, you know what? An example of that is, you know, I've killed, you know, 14 out of 14 heroic bosses. I'm in a top 50 guild. You suck. The rest of you suck. I mean, that's the kind of attitude that some guilds have. Does it matter? I mean, if it doesn't, well, what does it say about you? So that's something to think about here. Another thing to think about is how much do you value progression? Um, is it a big deal for you to be in a US 55 guild or a US 65 guild? Does it make you sleep better at night? Is there a huge difference between a 55 and a 65? Um, you know, maybe when you're really high up there is, there, is there a difference between Blood Legion and Method and Midwinter? I mean, everybody knows that, the, you know, the best guilds out there, um, to them, it, I mean, it matters being number one, but does it matter to you guys whether you're first, second? Uh, does it matter, like, as long as you're clearing all content at a really good pace, well before the dead nerfs, whatever, decide what progression rate you want to be doing. Um, you know, and things to look for in guilds, guys. Guilds that have been around for a while, guilds that have been around for a long time, that longevity, uh, which means stability. Stability is absolutely key. Uh, those guilds are much less likely to fall apart. Find out, you know, another point here, find out if that guild is part of a rebuilding phase. If a guild is rebuilding, something's happened, they've had a mass exodus of players to somewhere else, people have been poached, um, you know, see if if they're part of that phase. If they are, well, maybe there's not going to be a great chance they're going to stick around. People might start leaving again, falling apart. Uh, maybe they're they've had experience with you know 13 out of 14 bosses, but they haven't gotten back to you know heroic paragons in a couple months because you know things have gone downhill for them. But they still technically have 13 out of 14 experience. Talk to the people, right? Do your research on those skills before you start applying. Other great questions. Um, find out how long the leadership has been in place. Is it a newly promoted GM? You know, new officers, different leadership team. Uh, things have switched around. Might be good, might be bad. Uh, other good questions to ask your potential guilds. Um, you know, how do they handle drama? You know, how often does drama occur? The drama, the dreaded drama llama. You know, things to ask. Uh, what kind of relating style do they do? You know, do they have like a, a community? community group is it, you know one guy posting strats everybody follows and then you 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 do it um or is there a lot of feedback from players you know things to look at what else do they do outside of raiding you know when i when i tell you guys you know building a good community building a great guild what is important to you is it important to you guys that you just raid if, if you're content with just raiding great if that's all they do great that might be a good fit for you but if you want more than that, if you want more than just raiding and you want to, you know, have a good community, um, make more friends, you want to play Diablo together, you want to play work together, you want to play, you know, go to BlizzCon together, go to each other's barbecues, play hockey together, maybe that might be the right community for you. You know, find out if this guild is doing that. If not, maybe it's not the right fit for you. Maybe it's not your dream guild. That dream guild is looking, you know, is out there waiting for you guys. Uh, question here from Loxos. Sparty, I'm a 13 out of 14 heroic raider. Uh, with my guild and we have killed up the paragons at least 10 times. Uh, each but cannot seem to pull the attendance at final garage kill even though we have reached the end of phase 3. That's pretty close. I mean, you're nearly a kill there. We're like my guild naps even went on camping trips and plan on going to BlizzCon with them, but I'm starting to get second doubts with staying with the guild as uh, weeks of lackluster attempts of the kill have worn me down. On top of that, I was forced to swap from Holy to Ret. Uh, do you think I should stay with my guild and suffer not getting garage, which is important to me, or do you think I should try to find a better guild? How important is it to you? I mean, it's a question for a different coach's corner here, but how important is it to you? These guys, I mean, they will be your friends regardless. Might not be the best time to go into BlizzCon with them to sort of cut the ties right there. Uh, maybe you'll you have to kill garage after 6.0. I don't know. I mean, content will be a little bit easier after 6.0, slightly easier, uh, but not a huge difference. 
Should you stay with them? Yeah, I mean, talk to your GMs, talk to your officers about really motivating your players, Loxos. Um, but you're so close to a kill, man. You know, people need to look at micro progression. Like, hey, we got five seconds further in that fight. You know, we did better. Less people died. We took less damage overall. Look at the small progression. Maybe you need a week off or something. But, um, yeah, I mean, you're so close to a kill. I wouldn't say leave your guild right now. Leave your friends. There's still plenty of opportunity to kill Garage next couple of weeks. It, I mean, it takes some guilds hundreds of attempts, right? Uh, and so to sort of finalize, you know, finding a guild for you guys, all of you guys that are bored with Warcraft, you know, are unhappy in your current situation, maybe it locks us here, um, look for the right guild. You know, maybe while you're doing Garage, you're still sort of looking for things on the side, sort of like with me in real life. Like, I've got a great job. Um, you know, I'm fairly happy with it, but I'm still looking elsewhere. I'm still looking for a better job, you know, something better for my family, for me. Um, so regardless of your rating progression, you know, Miranda asked a question, she doesn't have a lot of rating experience, can she still find a guild? Yeah, of course. Um, I don't care what your rating background is, you know, Sinessa, for example, again, do I still have Sinessa up here? No, I don't. Um, Sinessa is an old school player, has Death's Demise title, coming back to rating, um, or how long you've been playing. Whether you're a new player to the guild, or a new player to the game, like Nate, one of our previous subs, he picked up the game, you know, one day, 30 days later, is in a heroic rating guild. Brand new player to the game is in a heroic rating guild within 30 days. That's the, the drive, the uh, the competitive nature. He put in the effort. He learned a lot, watched streams, did a flex raids with us, uh, did normal raids, got the gear, got the experience, and sold himself. And now he's happy in a like top 50 US guild because he's gone up a couple times. But that dream home, that dream guild, that, you know, your death jesters is out there. You know, it's waiting for you. You just need a little bit of luck, put in a lot of effort, and you will find